In this video, you will learn how to generate this multiple bar graph in Google Sheets. You can see here, I have generated this graph using this set of data. I have three series of data, which are the 25, 55 degree centigrade, which are displayed here. Second one is the 25 degree centigrade, which is the second one in red color. And third one is the 4 degree centigrade, which are in blue color. And the first column shows the days and which are displayed on X axis. Now we will start uh, this tutorial. Firstly, I will select this data with these headers. Now you can see here I have selected this data with headers only and I have not selected this title. Now go to this insert option and in insert option you will find the option of charts click on it google sheets will uh, generate a chart by default you can change its settings firstly i will place it here and here you will find the option of chart type click here and here there are the different suggested options you can use this one or you can scroll down and select any one from this. You can see here there is an option of line chart, smooth line charts and others. You can see here uh, it has already generated this line graph so I will not change this setting. And if uh, it has not generated line graph instead of this it has generated bar graph or other graph you can change this setting using this option. I will scroll down and you should make sure that if there is a header in your data then this option is checked. It means that use row 2 as a header. It means the data in rows 2 is used as header. It is not counted as data and it is not displayed on graph. Instead of this it will display on the as a header. Now there is a second option which is the customize click on it firstly you can see here there is a option of chart style click on it and you can change the background color of this graph for example if i change it to red one you can see here its color is changed to red i will change it back to white now you can select the font size i will font style sorry I will select Arial. Now you can also change the border of this chart. I will select black. Now there is a different risk layout option. For example, if I want to select as maximum maximize, you can see here the chart will be maximized. Similarly, there is another other options. I will not explore those options. I will move downward and select second option which is the chart and axis titles when you click on it firstly you will find the different option here there is an arrow sign and click on it and there are different options appeared we will explore them one by one firstly i will select chart title and in chart title I will write the chart title which is the effect of temperature on emulsion. Now you can also uh, the change the format of this title using these option firstly title font you can change it i will not change it i will select the font size to 24 and i want to bold it and in center so i will select center align and i will select the black color of this title similarly from here I will select the horizontal axis title. This one is the horizontal axis title. 
days is already selected title font arial size 14 bold and black color now select other axis which is the vertical axis and it shows the droplet size i will write droplet size now you can see here that the this title appeared here you can also change the format similar to horizontal axis now scroll down and explore other options well, this one is the series option in series option you can change the color of this line firstly line color but before that you can see here there is a option of apply to all series if we change the color using this option then the color of all lines will be changed similar color so firstly i will select series 55 degree centigrade and i will now change its color to green you can also control the line dash type there are different format available i will select solid line and thickness of this line will be selected as 2 px and you can also select point size which is the markers i will select 7 px and you can select the shape of these markers using this option i will select triangle now you can see here there are no other option available now i will change it to other series 25 degree centigrade and i want to change its color to purple and you can control line opacity line dash type i want solid line so that's fine line thickness I will select 2px you can change it and point size similar to other series which is was the 7px and you can control the marker shape for example I will select star now similarly you can also change the formatting of this series of data using these settings which have which i have already explained so i will not explain it again to save time now there are different options which are the added bar data labels and trend lines i will cover these option in next videos now i will move to next option which is the legend in legend option there are different options available for example you can control the position of this you can if you select at the bottom you can see here it's move its position is moved to bottom and if i will select it back to top then its position will be moved to top you can select the font size of this legend and font style font size i will select 14 i will bold it and change its color to black similar to other now if i move downward there are two options first one is the horizontal axis second one is the vertical axis i will select horizontal axis and here there is an option of 
uh, formatting of these labels, labels which are the 20, 40, 60 and these are the 50, 100, 150. So firstly I am using horizontal axis so I will change this one uh, font size 14. I want to bold these labels and color black. Now you can see here these are changed now. You can also set minimum value and maximum value. Currently minimum value is 0 and maximum is the 60. That's fine because you can see here in our data there is 0 and 60 values. So you can also slant this label using this option. For example, if I select 30 degrees slant, you can see here these are slanted. I will change it to 0 degree centigrade because there is no need for slanting. Now I will move to vertical axis, select this and I will use similar setting as I use in horizontal axis 14 size bold and black color now here is the option of minimum and maximum you can change this minimum and maximum value currently minimum value is 0 I will change it to 50 for example I will write 50 here Now you can see here its value is changed to 50. Similarly, if you write anything in maximum value, then the maximum value will be changed. Now I will explore the last option, which is the grid lines and tick marks option. By default, major grid lines are selected. I will not change this. First, I will select minor tick marks major tick marks I will not select minor grid lines if you select this then minor grid lines will be appeared select the tick positions either these are crossed crossed means these appeared on both side of line I will only select outside you can see here these are only appeared on outside on line thickness you can select the thickness of line I will select auto you can sorry these are the tick lengths the length of these tick marks you can change there using this option and here is the option of line thickness thickness of these tick marks if I change it to for example 2px you can see here the thickness is changed I will select auto and I will select black color using this option now there is the option of minor tick marks outside that is fine tick marks length auto line thickness auto you can change it using this option and I will select black color and if you don't want these major grid lines you can use this option Now there is option of major spacing type and minor spacing type. These are the spacing between these labels. For example, currently the major spacing type you can select count from here. And currently it is 1, 2, 3, 4. I want to change it to 6. I will select 6. Now you can see here the spacing is changed. Now it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, there is a two lab labels between these major units and I will change it to 4. 
now you can see here one two three four spaces appear between major labels similarly you can change the uh, this setting of vertical axis in grid lines and tick marks option here is the option of horizontal axis select vertical axis from this and from here you can select count and you can select any number currently it is one two three four five that's fine i will not change it if you want to change it do it like this one here this is the option of major grid lines i will select major tick marks on outside tick length 6 pt thickness 1 px and black color similarly you can adjust the minor tick mark setting now if you want to remove these major grid lines from vertical axis you can uncheck this option and if you want these grid lines select this option now you can see here there is a, a problem that the on x axis values are up to 100 you can change these values easily go to horizontal axis and in maximum values select 60 now we have completed the formatting of this multiple line graph no i i will close this chart editor option and if you click on this chart you will find the option of three dots click on it and different options appeared here if you click on this edit chart option then the chart editor will be open again there is a the option of delete chart you can download this chart using uh, this option and there are different option for example png image pdf documents and other uh, scalable vector if you select any one of these then this chart will be downloaded for example i will click on this and you will see here that the chart will be uh, is downloaded here now if i again click on it and click on these three dots there is a the option of copy chart you can select this and paste it according to your requirement in any documents so that's the end of this tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial goodbye